A general approach to rehab after a femoral neck stress fracture is not helpful. We need to make it more specific. Today, I'm gonna to go through four key principles you need to know when designing these rehab programs. First, we have to cover how this moves when you run. Your femoral neck and the whole hip complex plays a huge role in running. Our femoral neck has to be able to tolerate three different motions when we get back to running. Imagine that this is your right femur, here is your hip and here is your kneecap. The first motion that it has to be able to tolerate is hip flexion and extension. When you view a runner from the side, you'll notice that their hip has to go forward and backward through every single foot contact. The second motion that it has to be able to tolerate is hip abduction and hip adduction. When you view a runner from behind, you will likely see their leg drift towards their other leg and then out away from their other leg. And finally, it has to be able to rotate towards our body and away. That means our hip has to be able to spin in and spin back out. Now these three motions happen in a very coordinated manner every time your foot hits the ground and takes you into flight. Why is this important? Well, that brings us to principle number two. Bone adapts in a site-specific manner. That means that when we load our bony tissue with stress, it's only going to adapt in the places where the stress occurs. So in the rehab process, we have to stress your hip. If we want a strong femoral neck and femur, we have to stress our femoral neck and our femur. Bone adapts in a site-specific manner. It also adapts in a direction-specific manner. This means that our bone adapts in the direction that it's loaded. If you're a pitcher, your shoulder bones adapt to the direction of throwing. If you're a soccer player, your leg adapts to the direction of kicking a ball. We need to know those three directions because we have to design programs that replicate the demands of running. If we know your femur has to be able to handle motion in three different directions, we need to load it in three different directions during rehab. You gotta make sure that the bone is ready for what it has to deal with. If we examine this image adapted from Newman and colleagues, we see that your hip is getting pulled in a ton of different directions all the time. These lines reflect the angle that the muscles pull on the outside of your hip. Bones like impact. We want to include plyometrics or jumping into a rehab program because we see that that loads our skeleton more than almost any other exercise. If we do that in a smart manner, those impacts can help our bones get stronger. We gotta get our patients to leave the ground. A general approach to stress fracture rehab doesn't work. Let's be more specific and put our patients on a path back to success. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like, subscribe, and drop any questions below.